Hello and welcome to Round to the Nearest Multiple. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna look at three different functions that help us round to the nearest multiple. Floor, ceiling, and M round. Let's head to Excel. Exercise one. In this exercise, we sell products in singles or in a discounted five pack bundle. Given an order quantity, we wanna compute the number of five pack bundles needed and how many singles are needed. So this is the column of order quantities. And we're gonna use the floor function to figure out the number of five pack bundles we need to fill this order. Equals floor. Now, depending on your version of Excel, you may have floor or you may have floor.math. If you have floor.math, that's newer, so I'd use that. Otherwise, I would just use floor. Here we point it to the number, comma, and then significance. This is the multiple. Here we wanna go with a multiple of five. Close function and enter. Now let's fill this down. This column computes the order quantity that can be filled with five pack bundles. Now let's compute the singles. Equals our total minus our floor. Let's fill this down. And the number of bundles is simply equal to this divided by five, enter. And let's fill this down. So this is the number of five pack bundles and this is the excess that can be filled with singles. So that's how we can round down to the nearest multiple. How do we round up to the nearest multiple? Let's head to the next exercise. Exercise two. Assume in this exercise that now we only sell this product in five pack bundles, no singles. So given a specific order quantity, how many bundles do we need to cover the entire order? Well, we'll use the ceiling function for that. Equals ceiling. Now. Depending on your version of Excel, you may have ceiling.math, that's the newer version, so if you have that, I'd use it. Otherwise, I would just use the legacy ceiling function. Once again, we point it to the order quantity, comma, and the significance, which in this case is five, close function, and enter. Now we can fill this down. And to get the actual number of bundles, we would go equals this divided by five, and fill it down. So this is the number of five pack bundles needed to cover this quantity. Now, what if we don't always want to round down or always round up? Well, that brings us to the next exercise. Exercise three. Here we have a sales quantity and a target increase. And so we want to go ahead and compute the new sales target. Equals sales times one plus this percent increase. Close function and enter. Let's go ahead and fill this down. Now, rather than deliver this as a target, what we wanna do is round it up or down to the nearest five. In this case, rather than using floor, which always rounds down, or ceiling, which always rounds up, we'll use M round, equals M round. So we point it to the number, comma, the multiple, which is five, close function, and enter. And let's go ahead and fill this down. And now we've got it. Hey, I hope the three functions provided in this short video help you round to the nearest multiple. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 